In the fall of 1999, the city of New York carried out a program of massive aerial and ground spraying in response to an outbreak of mosquito-borne illness, first identified as St. Louis encephalitis, but later discovered to be West Nile virus, a milder illness. According to the New York Environmental Law and Justice Project, New York City allegedly failed to weigh the relatively remote possibility of an individual's contracting the severe form of the illness against the risks of haphazardly exposing a large population to a combination of chemicals known to cause human health problems. In addition, New York City officials allegedly embarked on a campaign of repeatedly spraying malathion, resmithrin, and sumerthrin, without considering less toxic alternatives, the environmental group charged. Malathion, an organophosphate pesticide already banned in Japan, is a known neurotoxin. Federal law prohibits anyone from describing any pesticide as safe. When Mayor Rudolph Giuliani repeatedly gave the public assurance that malathion was harmless, he was warned by the New York State Attorney General's office that he was in violation of the law. The New York Environmental Law and Justice Project has served New York City with a letter of intent to sue on behalf of plaintiffs including the No Spray Coalition, the National Coalition Against the Misuse of Pesticides, and four individuals. A recent EPA report has raised as many questions as it has answered about the safety of these pesticides, mainly malathion. But opponents of Mayor Giuliani and his health commissioner's reassurances in 1999 that malathion was safe are back, this time in court, to challenge an EPA interim report. The EPA is seeking your comments on its interim assessment of malathion. You can visit EPA's website for instructions. Among my guests on this program are two medical doctors who will attempt to guide your thoughts with their differing opinions. One wants you to believe, as the EPA is saying, there is no health threat from the spraying of malathion. The other expert will present studies and her own original research, which she says proves that the 1999 pesticide spraying has already taken its toll on the health of New Yorkers and those who have been sprayed in other parts of the country. I'm Tony Brown. In a moment, pesticides and cancer.